Hey guys, um, from IGN dash nub to something cannot read and Kobe Rocks twenty four these TBG ones. I didn't know that you could send GB items. That's pretty cool. But I'm actually gonna be using one of these uh, just to test some things before I get into this view. But yeah, 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 I'm gonna go to the review right now. Blah. Can you believe it? Another one shot kill sniper rifle. Yep, next on his list, the TBG1 series, which is in GP and both NX standard. Oh, there's a fly in my room. Alright, so. One second as I destroy. Oh, no, that was bad aim. There we go. As you can see, it's fantastic accuracy if you can actually get the crosshair on him, which it took me a couple times to do. But, anyways, uh, the TBG1 Pro, which is what I'm reviewing today is the NX standard of the TPG-1 and basically between this and the GP version major upgrade is the scope it now has a higher magnification much like the L115 A3 or A2 as well as a little bit extra portability for your pleasure yes pleasure and I actually like this gun a lot I've used it for a couple games probably by far my favorite sniper rifle I was gonna buy a permanent but quite frankly I'm dead broke in terms of NX because uh, I spent it greedily on an M6A2 because I love that gun. I love it. So instead I got it 30 days which is totally chill. I can just review it, try it out. If I really like it, maybe later I'll maybe get a permanent. But then again, next I might release another one because I don't know man, they don't seem to be stopping. So on to the review. Uh, in my opinion this is like the L115 and the DSR1 had babies. Yes, they had babies. In terms of stats and overall performance actually. Of course this is more like an L115 with the stats of a DSR-1 is what I'm trying to get at here. As you see the whole look of it and all the animations, the scope and everything seem very L115-ish. L115-ish. And... Yeah. Um, lost my train of thought so I'll just go straight into the stats. Or kill this guy or not. But basically uh, the damage pretty straightforward, just a one-shot kill, 100 point, one-shot kill sniper rifle, bolt action, all that fun stuff. And the portability is actually a tad bit slower than the L115 and DSR-1 subsonic series. It's 43, too lower, but honestly it feels just as fast. You're not going to feel this is slow. It's actually above average for bolt action sniper rifles, so if anything it'll feel fast. So don't even worry about the portability. Dude, he tanked that. And he didn't take that one. Can't see him. What's going on? Ooh, reload. By the way, the reload's really fast, as well as the draw animation, or the draw speed. It's pretty fast, as well as the uh, reload, which I just repeated myself. But it is, just like the L115. As I said, the animations, everything, are very similar to the L115. Yeah, I'm tower camping. What are you gonna do about it? Spawn shield, save that guy. And that was just failing. But anyways, uh, the rate of fire is 16, which seems significantly higher than other uh, bolt action sniper rifles. But really, it's not that fast. It feels really slow. And besides, you're not gonna be spraying this thing anyways. Let's get this guy. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Show yourself. Show yourself. Ah, whatever. Okay. Here's one. Done. Love the accuracy on this gun. Absolutely love it. And the scope. Um. So yeah, rate of fire. It's just, you know, it just feels like a normal bolt action. Maybe a little bit faster, but not much difference. Even though the stats say it's 16. Don't even worry about it, basically, is what I'm trying to say. Where did he go? I thought I totally saw him. Boom, accuracy. I should probably get out of this tower. This is this is probably looking really noob on footage. Yeah, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get off here because you guys probably think I'm retarded for camping all day. Um yeah, rate of fire, don't worry about it. Boom. And moving on, we got the accuracy. This thing the accuracy on this gun is actually amazing. Amazing. 98. That's higher than the DSR one. Subsonic. 
and to combine with the time magnification scope, this is probably really great for kill creek actually, and just general purpose use. As you see the accuracy, I don't seem to be missing missing a lot of shots, especially as you saw a couple long range shots back uh, a while ago. And so accuracy is just amazing. Recoil. Okay, it's just a bolt action. I'm not even gonna bother listing the numerical stat. It'll be in the description, but it's not even worthy of being noted. Bolt action. Don't worry about recoil. Not gonna be a problem. I just realized in sniper rifles, there's just a lot of things you don't gotta, uh, a lot of things that you don't have to worry about. It's basically the accuracy and portability are the main things, as well as damage. Those are the only three stats that matter for bolt action sniper rifles. Anyone to kill? Anyone to kill? Anyone to kill? But those are the, uh, those are the stats, uh, very similar to the DSR one Subsonic. Whoa, random guy there. Very similar to the DSR one Subsonic, um, but the looks of an L115. Now it does have a high magnification scope with the cool little crosshair. I like it. And big thing that I really love that Nexon did with this. No silencer, thank you very much. There's no silencer on this sniper rifle. I hate it how every single one shot kill, um, one shot kill sniper rifle for NX standard has silencers. Absolutely hated that. I love it when sniper rifles are unsilenced. It just feels more epic when you shoot someone. It's like boom, and they're dead. It just gives you more of that feel to it. Um, and I just like that. Thank you. Uh, also, as you see in reserve magazine, it has 20 extra bullets with five. I'm pretty sure that's way more than like the Arctic Wolf. If I recall, actually the M107 has the same amount of bullets as this, so M107 CQ SE uh, to be specific. Uh, I'm not too used to the magnification yet because I don't use the L115 because I can't buy it on too low rank. But I do like it. I've been trying to get used to it and I've been performing pretty well for like a first timer I guess I'd call it. This is probably like my fifth game or so. Spray, fast reload. I love this gun by the way, I'll probably review it sometime soon. Hooray for not even using the gun I'm reviewing. Can I get accolades? Nope. That could have been an easy accolade, but I failed to kill that person who had spawn shield. Alright, so the stats are actually really nice. The look of the gun, really nice. How it performs, really nice. Animations, sound. Everything about this uh, sniper rifle seems to be amazing in my opinion. It's like the all-around sniper rifle now. Everyone's like, ooh, the M200 Gilly is so good for everything. It's so amazing. No, this one is. I'm sorry to say, I'm going to call this the best sniper in the game right now. Uh, yeah, I said it. It's the best sniper in the game. Ooh, I went there. There's going to be some controversy and argument all over the forums, maybe on this video. People are like, oh, no, this type is better, blah, 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 overpowered. But yes, I think it's the best. What am I? 18 and 10. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Um, I should probably... And actually, you know what? I'm going to... Check if I left out anything. No, I didn't leave out anything. I'm going to pause here and go to the end of the game. So, be back in a bit. And there's the end of the game. I got 23-13. Pretty good, pretty good. I'm pleased with that. Also, something I didn't know. Great job, Nexon, with the uh, new interface or heads up, all that, whatever. They changed the kill stuff. I love it now, how it shows, like, kill one, kill two, double kill, all that stuff. Love it. And, mm, yeah, that's pretty much the end of the review. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Would I re recommend it? Heck yeah. Buy it for permanent. If you like it, I like it. Um, although, actually, I'd be a little cautious, because they might release an even better one. But this is by far my favorite out of the last like three sniper rifles. The last three I was like, ah, oh, they're kind of similar, but this is really cool, uh, the TPG-1 Pro. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.